Here, let's explore the mysteries of the Bible as we delve into the hidden story of Noah's three daughters-in-law. These unsung heroines played a crucial role in the survival of humanity after the Great Flood, yet their names remain shrouded in mystery. So today, let's dive into the video to understand their untold contributions and the pivotal moments they experienced. The Bible tells a story about a huge flood that changed everything. But there's something missing. They don't talk about three very important women for the future of humanity. In this world where powerful forces guide destiny, this massive event happened that totally transformed life on Earth. For 40 days and nights, it didn't stop raining. Imagine that. Constant rain, turning everything into a whole new world. On that special day, a man named Noah, his sons, their wives, and loads of animals began an incredible journey. Can you picture it? Huge animals walking beside tiny insects, all alongside beautiful birds. They all boarded this enormous boat called the Ark. It became a safe and peaceful home for every kind of creature, a refuge in the middle of all the chaos caused by the flood. When the heavy rain kept pouring, God closed the boat's door to keep Noah and the others safe from the rising waters. The gigantic ark floated high above the submerged land, defying the devastating disaster that engulfed the earth. The rising water covered every mountain, wiping away any traces of the life that once thrived there. For a whopping 150 days, Noah and his family stood strong, facing the unknown with unwavering courage. Noah and his children embraced the task assigned to them. They were fruitful, multiplying and replenishing the earth. However, amidst this epic tale, the identities of the three crucial women linked to Ham, Shem, and Japheth remained shrouded in mystery. After Noah's three sons were born, an intriguing development unfolded in the Bible. A passage in Genesis 6 verse 1 mentions, And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. Here's the surprise. Each of Noah's three sons got married. The Bible notes in Genesis 6, verse 18, God says to Noah, But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall come into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives, with you. However, despite the mention of women in the Bible, their identities remain elusive. Women in the Bible often have complex and captivating stories, but intriguingly, only male sons are explicitly mentioned for Ham, Shem, and Japheth, along with their subsequent generations, sons and grandsons. The commentary on the Bible explains that the names of the four women who entered the ark are not specifically mentioned. However, according to some external sources, Noah's wife was believed to be named Neymar. She was said to be the sister of Tubal-Cain and the daughter of Lamech and Zela. Neymar is the mother of Shem and Japheth, born before the Great Flood. After the Flood, the world started anew, and all of humanity descended from Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. These three sons are considered the fathers of the three ancient continents. Shem's descendants represent Asia, Ham's descendants represent Africa, and Japheth's descendants represent Europe. Although the Bible doesn't provide specific names for these women, they played vital roles in the story of Noah and his family. Their contributions helped shape the future of humanity across different continents, the tale of division, borders, and conquest in Noah's family. Now, let's get into the narrative about the story of borders and conquest rooted in the lives of Noah's sons. According to this ancient tale, each of Noah's sons embarked on a distinct path, shaping the course of their destinies. A pivotal moment in the narrative occurs when Ham's son inflicts harm upon Noah, leading to a curse upon Canaan and his descendants. The Book of Jubilees sheds light on the lesser-known details, revealing the names of Noah's daughter-in-law. Ham's wife was named Nail at Amok, Japheth's wife was at Dutnesses, and Shem's wife was Sedeket Leba. Following Noah's curse on Canaan, Ham and his family part ways with Noah, marking a significant separation. This juncture is crucial to the story, paralleling the wandering of another character, Cain. 
Just as Cain roamed the land, Ham, too, embarked on a journey with profound implications. The narrative takes an intriguing turn as Ham, resembling Cain in another tale, finds a city named after his wife, Nail, at Amok. Simultaneously, Yafet and Shem, feeling a sense of rivalry, also engage in city building. Enoch, the eldest son of Yafet, lends his name to a city, while Shem constructs a city near his father on the mountain, honoring his wife, Setiquet Leba. Jealousy seeps into the narrative as Japheth, observing the accomplishments of his brothers, builds a city for himself. Drawing inspiration from his wife, he names the city at Dutnesses. Meanwhile, Shem, content to dwell with his father, undertakes his city-building venture, naming it after his wife, Nail Adamok. Continuing with this, Shem, choosing proximity to his father, Noah, establishes a city on the mountain. Emulating the trends set by his brothers, he names the city after his wife, Sadika Labo, showcasing a thread of family continuity in the city naming tradition. The account finds validation in the Book of Jubilees, specifically in chapter 7, verses 17 to 19. Though not exhaustive, these verses provide scriptural reference to the cities built by Noah's sons and offer glimpses into their naming conventions, further enriching the narrative. These ancient tales paint a vivid picture of the diverse paths taken by Noah's sons and their subsequent descendants. While not exhaustive in naming every individual, the stories encapsulate the essence of familial divergence and the establishment of distinctive destinies. Beyond the known tales, additional texts unravel layers of ancient narratives, shedding light on division, conquest, and city-building themes. These insights deepen our understanding of the cultural and historical context surrounding the lives of Noah's descendants. Intriguingly, the Bible maintains a pattern of omitting specific names, and the wives of Noah's sons are no exception. This silence aligns with a broader trend in biblical storytelling, where numerous individuals are described without explicit mention of their names. Drawing a parallel, the narrative draws attention to Lamech, who, like Noah's sons, is presented without explicitly stating the names of his wives. The example of Lamech, who married Ada and Zillah, underscores the Bible's propensity for highlighting events while occasionally omitting names, as seen in Genesis 4.19. Unnamed significance in biblical stories. Numerous individuals hold unique stories throughout the Bible, even without their names explicitly stated. Women, in particular, fluctuate in acknowledgement within biblical narratives. Understanding someone's essence extends beyond their name, a notion intriguingly illustrated in various biblical accounts. The tale of Job, renowned for his trials, sheds light on the selective naming within biblical storytelling. While Job's daughters, Jemima, Keziah, and Karen Hapuch, are named in Job 42.14, a conspicuous absence lingers regarding the names of his sons emphasizing the unpredictability of name disclosure in the scriptures. The delineation between named and unnamed characters in biblical narratives underscores the nuanced significance of names. So, about Noah's three daughters-in-law, much like Noah's wife, these women remain unnamed in biblical texts. Yet it's plausible to infer their steadfast support alongside their husbands in constructing the ark. During the cataclysmic deluge, they sought refuge within the ark and emerged as survivors, an essential part of the eight individuals who repopulated the world post-flood. Surprisingly, the early Christian writer Saint Hippolytus recounted the names of Noah's three wives as per the Syriac Targum, similar to Jubilees. He wrote, The names of the wives of the sons of Noah are these. The name of the wife of Sem, Nahalath Manuk, and the name of the wife of Cham, Zedkat Nabu, and the name of the wife of Japheth, Arathka. He also talked about Ham's wife, that God told Noah to punish the first person who said the flood was starting. Ham's wife was baking bread, and when water ruined it, she said the flood began. God changed his mind, not wanting Noah to hurt his own daughter-in-law, who was meant to be saved. 
This legend adds a twist to the flood narrative, showing God's compassion for Ham's wife. Following the great flood, only eight individuals, four couples, remained. Just as God instructed Adam and Eve to populate the earth, the responsibility to multiply and repopulate rested upon these three unnamed women and their husbands. Their pivotal role in the survival and rejuvenation of humanity echoes throughout history as they became the progenitors of all future generations, significantly shaping the trajectory of civilization and ensuring its continuity. So, what do you think of the hidden story of the three daughters from Noah? Comment below and subscribe for more!